These are my friends, Ben and Ryan from R&B Reptiles, and today they have up to $1,000 that they're gonna give away. All you have to do is go to their channel and subscribe, and it's my job to make sure they give away every single dime. You guys ready? We're ready. We're all right, I'm gonna put them to the test. Let's get started. So here's the deal, guys. I wanna make sure that we're giving away all of their $1,000. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a set of challenges that you guys have to do. Now, Lucky is my Amazon tree boa. If you happen to get Lucky out for one minute, you have to give 100 of that $1,000 away. Every single time you get bit, it's another $100. So do you guys think you could do this? Sure. Absolutely. There you go. There if you get it. Go. All right, are we got? Okay, he's going right at it. He's not even he's not even scared. He's just going for it. Uh oh. He's almost Oh, there's another $100. That's one bite. So now we're up to Well, we're up to 100. He hasn't got it out for a minute yet, but he's trying to get it. Oh, he's almost there. Oh, he's almost there. Oh. Okay. Oh. That wasn't quite a bite. That wasn't quite a bite. Okay. Oh. Lucky is just, he's just shooting all over the place. Still hasn't got him out of the cage yet, so we're still only at $100. Okay, so now he has him out of the cage. So now if he can hold him for one minute, that's another $100. I think he may have gotten bitten one other time. Let's go ahead and do a rewind on it. That's right, that's $300. The minute is up, let's go ahead and put him away. This is Bella, my rhino iguana, and my crew knows that typically she only comes to me, but I ended up giving Ben one of her favorite things, which of course is a banana, and Ryan has some soup worms, which is her other thing. So if they can get Bella to come down for food, which looks like she's already coming down, it's gonna be $100. Oh my gosh, she's already down. She's ready for it. If she didn't come down, it was gonna be 200. Now let's just go ahead and see which one she wants. Does she yeah. want the banana, or does she want the super worms? Hey, 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 you're here. Right here. Huh? Huh? Look out. Oh, she wants a banana. <laughs> oh. She wants a banana. Give her the banana. Good there you go. Alright. Alright, guys. So I tell you what, I don't know how to feel about that. Bella typically only comes down for me. With that being said, that's another hundred dollars. We're up to four hundred dollars now. Is there a reason you're so close to me? I love you. <laughs> that's nice. So let's <laughs> let's show everyone your new tattoo. Tattoo, as they would say in Australia. Tattoo. Look at that. That is actually a rose hair tarantula. Yep. But it's not mine. Any. It's your rose hair tarantula. My rose hair tarantula. Yeah, look at that. So uh, he went to Bob Tyrell, the master of black and gray. And uh, I like it, dude. I think it looks good. Are you happy? Oh, yeah, I love it. It's good. It looks okay. good, man. It shows your guns off real yeah. well. Oh, yeah. See that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the gun show. Yeah. A couple marshmallows on vines there. <laughs> Guys, I realize that this is not the jungle, that this is actually the dungeon, but you know what? Still feels a little jungly to me. And that could only mean one thing, and that's right, we actually have a couple clutches of pythons. This girl actually is exciting. She actually is a champagne head for ghosts. She's actually bred to a banger male, to be honest with you. She does have one egg out, and the thing that's really cool about this particular female is last year, she actually slugged out. Didn't have even one good egg, and it looks like they're all good eggs this year. So let me show you the male. We'll get some egg boxes set up, and we'll pull this clutch, and guess what? We actually have two clutches today. This is actually a banana enchi cine pin stripe. The enchi and the champagne go so well together. The banana makes it awesome, and then you add the pinstripe and the cine in there. Ooh, doggy. This could be really cool because the cine actually interacts with the champagne and can actually have huge amounts of whites, like big ringers on it. So I cannot wait for this clutch to hatch. So let's go ahead and see what mama has. And away we go. Let's see what this girl has. Again, what I'll do is I'll actually take this particular egg because of course it was laid and she just kind of walked away from it here. We'll candle this one because obviously when it's outside that kind of coil, it could have rolled and stuff like that just to make sure the embryo's up. And mama looks like, ooh, she is definitely not happy. It's okay, girl. And I raised this girl up and I remember getting her when she was a baby. And, uh, and so it's really cool when you do that. You raise them up. Last year she bred for the very first time. And unfortunately, and mama is feisty today. What is going on, girl? It's okay. Woo. I tell you what, but it's so cool to raise something up and see it produce. Like I said, last year, all slugs. This year, it looks like beautiful. Hey, mama, don't go. Oh, that was a close one, that's for sure. Okay, mama, it's all right. I know. She's just being good. She's just protecting her eggs. She just wants her eggs to be protected. What she doesn't realize is that I'm going to probably take better care of these eggs than she will. As a matter of fact, not probably for sure. Because remember, we did a maternal incubation a couple years ago and hatched like one egg out of seven. It was a disaster. A couple other friends of mine have done it. It's been really bad. So that's why we take the eggs away. Because we can actually artificially incubate them and have a higher hatch rate. Not to mention, we'll get Mama, who is very upset right now. It's okay, Mama. Whew. We'll get her back, get her all cleaned up, and she'll be 
back onto food and get beefed up and maybe breed next year. Okay, Mom. Oh. Poor girl. I tell you what, Mama, you're going to be okay. But wow, that is amazing. We've got two, four, six eggs. The first six fertile eggs from this girl. And I'm telling you, these babies could be bangers. 57 days from now, it's going to be amazing. Okay, I'm continuing to try to spend your guys' money. What I'm going to do is a little bit of guess the morph challenge. If you guess the morph right, you have to add $100 to one of your subscribers. If you guess it wrong, you have to add $200. You guys ready? <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Go. Who's going first? Are you guys going to uh, do it together? I think since Ben's so much better at IDing stuff than I am, <laughs> I think you should do it. You're going to do it? You're just trying to give away money, man. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, All you right, can so hold it and you can look at it. All right. Um, I mean, there's some simple stuff in there. I didn't give it yeah. too hard for you guys. I, I mean, there's, I'm going to say, now don't give me any clues, but I'm going to say leopards in here, lesser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, burn the money. <laughs> uh, so, um, is it a final answer? Uh, apparently not lesser leopard the way you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I have no idea. This one, you, you won on this one. Okay, so guys, that's two hundred dollars coming. Go over there, subscribe to their channel, and you're gonna get two hundred dollars richer. We're gonna get our weight. We're gonna give away all their thousand dollars. Oh, and by the way, uh, it is a lemon blast and she yellow belly. Uh, Ryan had this one. He knew it. He knew it. Knew it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good try. Good try. Yeah. So we're up to spending 600 of your dollars. Yeah. So uh, I think the next challenge is you guys know a snake that's named Jimmy. That's a little bit fun. So what's going to happen is if you can get Jimmy out, mm -hmm. oh, it's a hundred dollars. I know Jimmy. But if, <laughs> if you get Jimmy out and get bit, it's going to be two hundred dollars. So uh, let's have at it. Here's hey, Jimmy. Where's Ben? Get yeah, it, yeah there on. you go, Jimmy. There's it. not again. You're fine. The more you get fit, the more we get to give away. That's true. <laughs> oh, there's two hundred dollars right there, and he got him out. So all right, that's it. That's all we need. That's he, all we need. That's all we needed. Is you need to get him out. You needed to get bit, and that's two hundred bucks. But uh, uh, <laughs> oh, don't look. Oh, no, I got bit. You got me bit. You owe me three hundred dollars now. All right, so now get him back in. That's the hard part. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Guys, right here. Oh, Thanks, he's right? so angry! He's so angry! Oh, 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 oh my! Oh my gosh! I think we're up to two grand now. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, uh, and he must all over Oh, he dang. gotcha! Oh man, ah. that's the triple. I think yeah. that that's. Uh, I think we're up to what? Eight hundred dollars now? <laughs> all right, we've got two hundred. You guys are not leaving without giving away all your money. So we've got two hundred more dollars to go. One more challenge. Egg time, and that's right. We actually have a lavender snow cow bred to a lavender snow cow. So these are going to be purple babies. That's right. But before I set these up, let's go ahead and roll some fancy B-roll of me setting up egg boxes. Now that we're getting clubbered eggs at the rate that we are now, I'm going to be setting up egg boxes pretty much almost every single day. And again, I've had so much experience with this, I could do this at night. It's like a baker that's making bread, that's been making bread for 20 years. You really just get the idea. A little pinch of this, a little pinch of that, and you've got the perfect recipe. And back to this girl right here again beautiful snake beautiful clutch of eggs We've got a handful of these this year, so I'm super excited about producing those baby purple snakes again I mean they are definitely stunners you guys remember them from last year I mean they are ridiculous when these guys hatch out So let's go ahead get this out of here again We'll go ahead clean mama's cage up get her some fresh water and all that type of stuff Like I always mentioned we pull the water a day or two before we actually have the clutches late So they don't lay them in the water, but she's got a really nice clutch right here so let's go ahead just get these eggs out of here Woo! look at that man that's beautiful two four six eight unbelievably beautiful eggs I tell you what I love colubrid egg season and it's definitely deep in it now of course this is Ben and Jerry my two-headed snake the challenge for you guys is you have to name which head is Ben and which head is Jerry if you get it right you have to give a hundred dollars away if you get it wrong you got to give the two hundred dollars away so which head is Ben and which head is Jerry I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. This one is Ben, and this one is Jerry. Oh my gosh, he nailed it, man. All right, that's $100. We're up to $900, people. All right, we got $100 to give away. Got to find something for them to do. Did you already uh, get the eggs? I did, but I've got to talk to you about something, because I did get the eggs today, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about something, because all the eggs I'm collecting this year are good. And it's kind of making me look like you're better than me. And it's a problem. I am better than you. What? No. <laughs> Wait a sec. 
No, what I'm saying is maybe you want to just, you know, not make everyone else around you look so bad. Oh, are you getting a lot of slugs this year? No, not a lot of slugs, but no slugs from you. And I just feel a little bit like maybe it's better if you back off a little bit. Oh, okay. So you don't want to. making you look bad. Yeah, yeah. So can you do that for me? You're not going to do that? not going to do that. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's better that she doesn't get slugged, but just try it. Can you do some other stuff bad so that it makes me look better? No. Like something I mean, the, else. The, the good thing is, you know, we tend to get a few more slugs in second clutches. So okay, we'll good. see how that goes. So guys, later in the year, she's going to be disastrous. So oh. I cannot wait for that to happen. <laughs> We're getting down to the wire, guys. So yeah. the deal is... So I'm going to open up Diddy and Dixie's enclosure, have them come out. If Diddy comes out first, you guys have to give $100. That will give your $1,000. But here's the thing. If Dixie if Dixie comes down first, you have to give $200, oh, which man. brings us up to another $100, $1,100. I love giving other people's money away. And remember, all you have to do is go to R&B Reptiles YouTube channel. I'll link in the description to go ahead and qualify for this. So what do you yeah. say? We open the cage and see who comes out first. Oh, uh -oh. Yeah. which one's which? Diddy's coming first, but Dixie might come. Oh, it looks like Diddy's coming. Diddy, come on, guys, come on. Come on. Dixie, come on. Dixie, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Who's coming out first? Oh, it looks like Diddy is out first. All right, guys, so uh, that's a thousand dollars well spent. <laughs> Dixie's coming second, so. All right, guys, I tried for the 1100, but we got a thousand dollars. Thank you guys for being yeah, such man. great people. Super good friends of mine. Subscribe to their channel, RB Reptiles. Link in the description, and you can win a thousand dollars. Back in the dungeon to collect that second clutch of eggs. Mama's underneath the paper here. Hey, Mama, what's going on? And she's actually a chocolate ball python that's bred to this super chocolate banana. That's right. So everything's going to be banana, and some are going to be banana super chocolates. That's going to be pretty amazing. I love these guys. Let's go get these eggs. And it looks like Mama's wrapped around them really nicely. Good job. Top, girl you did good oh there's a couple like nasty ones over here this egg i don't know what happened at. look at that thing Woo, doggy oh and it smells too that's not a good one at all we've got one little slugger over here but the rest of the eggs actually look pretty good don't really know why that one egg would be bad like that doesn't even make a lot of sense to be honest with you so i'm gonna go ahead just get these eggs out of here put them over here and here all good set to go Again, this egg just got really nasty. This is usually what happens in the incubator after a couple weeks when an egg isn't fertile. I have no idea why it would rot like that right away. That is really stinky and messy. So we're not even gonna be able to feed this one off. Just gonna throw that one in the garbage. But this little slugger, we could probably feed off to something. That's no problem. In the meantime, she gave us two, four, five good eggs, one kind of yucky egg and one slug. So still not too bad. Should be some pretty cool babies. Take a look at the salmon bird eating tarantula. Now this is gonna get a giant spider one day. It's only about a year and a half old or so so it's going to get much much bigger but it's pretty cool that it's up on stuff i've never seen that before and that is pretty awesome and by the way if you enjoyed today's video and you liked it go ahead hit this playlist over here watch one or two more of my videos i sure do appreciate it on this side you can subscribe to the vlog channel have an absolutely amazing day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow